Texans, Lions, next. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Ford Field. At my side, my cohort, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the best wideouts in the game. Unquestionably, Dan, he's one of those players who can change the whole complexion of a game. Okay, we'll keep our eye on him as the game progresses, but first, the coin talk. Getting the first. Peterson carries it for a third time in a row and searches for Past the defender and into the arms of his receiver. That's a great play. Check it out. Ooh, nice, accurate. All the time in the world on this play, Danny. He could have made himself a sandwich while he was waiting for the ball. <laughs> Always back to the food field. And touchdown! Touchdown, Lions! Terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Watson throws a big rainbow here. First and two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Lions are out in front, 14 to 10. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Lions should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Adrian Peterson would get the carry here. Good blocking up front. It helps us bring him. An 11-yard touchdown for the Lions. The Lions get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Lions now early in the second quarter, this time at the 24. Number nine would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 23-yard touchdown for the Lions. The Texans trying to answer back. Texans down by 14. Watson would find his target on this one. Close the gap some, now down by 11. The Lions on D, number 21, was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Lions winning 14 to three. Watson had it going through the air as he found his man for a big play. A 45 yard touchdown for the Texans. And that's where we'll leave this one. Lions are holding on to a lead 14 to 10. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Number 11 has played like a man possessed. And now... Play, and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Number 11 mishandles this one and drops it incomplete. Well, you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football. Crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go, as Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 125 yards and one touchdown. Number nine throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Number 13 is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that. Down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. And Peter, that play. Defenders on this one. What a throw. It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throw the catch, but watch here what he does after the completion. Caught, and now fight for more yards. You can't coach that. Another touchdown for him, and another wonderful. More importantly, they keep the clock running. Great play. 
Peterson goes right up the middle and chews up about four on the play. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Lions come out on top, 38 to 30. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye we'll until we'll next, time. next time. We'll we'll get you next time. It's all right. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games Post Game Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Lions stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Walker would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Lions, after getting an interception, the Lions with possession at the 35. Number 22 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Texans losing by 11. Number 13 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They climb back again and are now down by four. The Lions on defense, number 21, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Lions leading 21 to 17. Number 15 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 74 yard touchdown for the Texans. The Texans take their first lead in the game and are now up by three. The Lions answer right back, ball at the 40 yard line. Number 88 is gonna try to stretch the field here. He's gonna make them pay. A 39 yard touchdown for the Lions. Lions ahead by four. Number 88 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They move ahead by 11. The Texans on D, Collins, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Texans back 35 to 24. Number 21 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Texans have it off an interception. The ball at the 48. Watson connected with his man on this one. A 23-yard play that set up a Texan touchdown. The Lions answering right back. Lions out in front by five. Number five, get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would in fact deliver. The Texans on defense. Coleman was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Lions squeaked out a win, 38 to 30. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number nine is down on the field with Susie Calver. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really came up big and you nosed them out in this nail biter game. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Well, I just made most of my abilities that I've been blessed with, and everything fell into place after that. You know, when I get going like I did today, the other team's in trouble. It's as simple as that. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.